Hello everyone and welcome back to another video covering the AQA GCSE Computer Science course and today we'll be going through the topic number four, the fourth topic um, named procedures and functions so obviously those are the, the two things we're looking at today essentially and details about them so first we've got to define them so they're named bo blocks of code that can be used and reused to perform specific tasks but, and this is very important I mean, the sole definition is important, um, but procedures perform a task without returning a value, whereas functions do. So a function, after they're called, they return a value, whereas procedures don't. Um, very important to, to know this definition. They can be used and reused, which is also very important to, to realise. Um, you need to um, know when the use of a procedure or function would make sense and would simplify the code solution. I'm taking that straight from the specification. Um, so, you know, they may ask, they may give you a scenario in the exam where they um, give you a, a situation and ask you whether you should use a procedure or function. Um, so, anything to do with a calculation or maths or arithmetic, 99.9% .9 will be to do with a function. And anything else, a procedure may suffice. Um, but a function can be used as a procedure, but a procedure can't be used as a function, if that makes sense. Um, and because they can be used and reused, their efficiency, they're more efficient because um, instead of many lines of repeated code, um, the lines can be stored in the procedure or function and then called to the program which saves many lines and it makes the whole coded solution a lot simpler and again you need to know that but it's fairly common sense so I decided not to write it down it's easier for me to explain um, so programming languages often contain built-in functions that allow complex but commonly used tasks to be completed um, a lot easier um, so for example in Python you've got I've got three examples here: input, uh, len, which is used to find the length of a, a not the um, object given of parameter, which we'll look at in a minute, and also open. And programming languages have, you know, could be 100, could be 200, could be 500 inbuilt functions. Some of them you'll never even use. Some of them you don't need to use, but they're there um, to increase the code efficiency because instead of many many lines of code, um, they can the lines of code can be compressed in the inbuilt function and it, it makes the, the general programming easier for the programmer um, and the whole code a lot simpler to use um, so they're very important and they're built in to the um, programming language essentially um, so now I mentioned parameters we're going to look at parameters and return values um, but firstly a parameter is basically like a variable given as information to a function slash procedure um, you generally associate with then with a function but obviously it does vary language to language um, so in this example this is a function I've um, simply made in Python um, so the parameter here is quite clearly if you understood the definition it's quite clearly name this is for the variable given as information and you can see here it's being used as a variable um, in this return in this return value um, and we are basically telling here we're basically telling the um, function um, what our parameter is and what we're giving to the program. I'm not. I mean, I'm explaining this quite badly because I'm not teaching how to come. I'm teaching you the theory behind it. Um, so if you don't understand this, that's fine. But as long as you understand in your given programming languages, every class that does this will probably do something different. But um, this is how it's quite simple to to show it. And also, a return value is basically this is the information that returns to you um, from the subroutine and the subroutine is simply the function um, itself procedures like I said do not give return value um, but they um, they will give information back but not a value necessarily um, it's very subjective it's not a clear-cut definition no one can definitively say what return value is and the difference between procedures and uh, functions um, but uh, you know I, I'm, I'm using my common sense here and assume that AQA won't make such a big fuss about it but you just need to you just need to understand what it is and so obviously for return value if you follow this we we'll welcome Mr. Jones because we're giving Mr. Jones as the um, parameter and it's using it as like a variable here so we welcome Mr. Jones and that will be return value 
Um, so thanks a lot for watching the video. Hopefully this made some sense. And um, again, best of luck. See you next time.